Yeah. All right, so I got to just come right out and be honest about something. Uh, I don't do all the maintenance that some of the more popular uh, folks on YouTube recommend doing. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think we ought to leave our bikes alone. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, every time I go out and ride, I pay attention to if I hit something harder than I expected to or if I somehow abuse the bike. I listen to the engine and I think about how I've been running it. And then uh, I make a judgment on what I need to do, right? Uh, I do not clean the air filter every ride. I do not clean the bike every ride. I do not change the oil every ride. Um, I ride a YZ250X, as you know, if you've seen my videos before, and I think you ought to leave well enough alone. No, there's more to it than that. But the truth of the matter is that there is so much vendor energy coming into our sport of riding and telling us that we need to upgrade the pipe or we need to change the pegs or we need to you know, any number of things to turn our bikes into these Frankenstein machines. I'm here to tell you, for me at least on a Yamaha, I know Yamaha's put a ton of money into that, into researching that bike and making that bike perform well. And I happen to know that YZ250X pipe on that, on that bike from talking to dealers and talking to people riding it, that pipe is the best pipe for that bike. FMF has not done anything to improve the YZ250X beyond the stock YZ250X pipe. Okay, there, I said it. Now, back to the maintenance thing. You do not need to change your oil every time you ride. You do not need to clean the air filter every time you ride. Don't put a damn thing on your chain Leave it clean. You got an O-ring chain. That means it's lubricated on the inside. If you add anything to the outside of that chain, all you're going to get is an attraction of things that will abrade your sprocket uh, and the chain itself. So every ride, I clean my chain with a, a little nylon brush um, and I refuel. That's all I do. I've been riding for 40 years and I have never had bike problems. And I'll tell you the one thing about two strokes that I think is, I kind of wonder about this one, man. I think that the industry, that aftermarket, the so many players are pushing this. I run 32 to one. Here's the reason. I have, well, I have oil dripping down my pipe. My bike smokes a lot when I start it. But I can guarantee you that that engine is in great shape because I'm bathing it in a 32 to 1 mix, right? If you go out there and run 40 to 1 or run 50 to 1, maybe it'll seem cleaner. You got to change your jets because it's going to not run properly. It's going to run too rich if you're reducing the amount of oil because the fuel is going to be thinner. It's going to go through the carburetor uh, in more volume and therefore you're going to have a richer setup. So. A lot of times that's a misconception. The bike does not run leaner when you put less uh, uh, less oil in it. It runs richer. So uh, if you run 32 to 1 and you leave the bike alone, you can just focus on riding. You know, I know like so many guys, they want to go home and they're done riding and they're sore, but they love motorcycles so much, they want to just get in the garage and screw around with it. All right, look, if that's part of your fun, go for it. But if you're anything like me, riding for the rest of us, right? I don't race, so I'll admit that. I don't race. This is about riding for the rest of us. I do not screw with the bike. If it is running well and it's performing, I leave well enough alone. The minute you start turning uh, the bolts, you know, turning the, the screws on that bike, then you will invariably find a problem or create a problem. So I'm here to tell you, like I love some of the YouTube channels I've seen where these guys have just spick and span garages and they've just got like a maintenance list of 32 checkpoints. You know, not for me, dude. I'll ride the bike. If it even makes it off the back of my truck before I ride it again, hell yeah. Uh, but this whole maintenance idea with two strokes is just nonsense. Run 32 to 1, lubricate that, lubricate the shit out of that thing, and then enjoy it, keep your chain clean, and other than that, leave it alone unless you have a problem. I mean, yeah, okay, the oil change, but this idea of the 32 points that you need to go over, or whatever, I don't remember the number, and give, give me a break, I'm being a little facetious here, I'm having some fun, but 
It's not necessary. Focus on going out and spending time on the bike and having fun. Zen and the artist of motorcycle maintenance, you know, like go give that book a read, but listen to that bike and consider what it's telling you. Don't just fire off into a bunch of maintenance that isn't really guided by anything more than the guy on YouTube telling you that you're less than if you don't do it. I've never worked on my bikes consistently. I've always beat the shit out of them. And they, if you stick with a reputable build, and they all are reputable these days, um, you know, the ones that we're riding, you'll be fine. 